we have a lovely full moon coming up. So for my lovely functional adults, 5D mystics, and the Enlightenment Soul Age group, our relationships and our finances and everything about life. So here's the deal. Anybody who doesn't know me, I am a podcast host, content creator, and a lot more. I bring together the human, spiritual, and spirituality elements. That's what 5D mystics do. I don't like using words in a way of the dictionary. In fact, they're not using the dictionary at all. So take it as food for thought and not as rules ever, because that's actually where 5D land is. We empower with the words, with education. We expand. So there ain't no dead shore. That's for the idiots. We are intelligent ones who wander, as our lovely said guru, spirituality guru, and he's my go-to for anything spirituality related. Other than that, I don't know. I tried watching the horrible movie that uh, people suggest, and I say horrible because the energy of it was similar to another horrible documentary that I watched, and I'm like, wow, and these people are supposed to be intuitive. So there's a difference between 4D mystics and 5D, and it's not a race. It's not a competition. It's actually the way you vibe. And on that note, people don't know enough about trauma-informed or nervous system or somatics or neuroscience in the mystic community in the middle, in between. And I'm sharing that so that the 5D mystics can get out of limited bandwidth and staying in what is separation consciousness, which is really group mentality. They're not integrating their brain. So when they get angry, because see the predominant emotion that I've noticed most people have, unless they are a love button, I'm a love button, I didn't have shame when somebody weaponized their words. And we're going to talk about that today because, see, this is real talk for my compassion beyond a reason. 5D mystics are heaven in the body. We're aligned. This is not a need to explain it too much. It's here. You automatically don't want to hurt another person. So your anger, you're going to put it to the side if you ever had it. And you're going to say, calm down, Kali, even without that word. Come on in, Shiva. It's no big deal. Come on in, Krishna Leela. So Krishna Leela, the depth of the profound, is because we get curious. You know what activates when you get curious? So the trauma experts that I learned from, what activates when you include curiosity, which is why compassion-based therapy is effective for resolving trauma. But people think emotions are silly and that nobody's being ruled by their two-year-old. <laughs> no, no. We have movies. They're all adaptive children. Every single one of the movies, I used to love movies. I do not like movies, cartoons. Give me something, I'm like, oh no, limited consciousness. I seriously just try to cut it out of my head because it makes me very sad for humanity to see how much stereotypes they perpetuate. I was a teenager and I disliked stereotypes. I'm a grown-up, I dislike stereotypes. And whenever I make any human being who gives it to me, I'm like, okay, I'm going to shut up right now because you don't know everything and you're sounding like an idiot who's dead sure. I'm not going to speak that to you and I'm going to move away from you. So manipulation, gaslighting, ghosting, all of it. There's a very straightforward way for a person who has the intelligence. Now, let me spell out functional adults. We are integrated brains, differentiated selves. So this is the intelligence. And I use my Left and right mode together, my nervous system stays engaged in my ventral vagal because you don't have a weapon. I'm not going to go in survivor mode. Adaptive children do. Their brain is not in integration. Their left mode is working. Their right just reacted because that's structural dissociation. They got poked and they were triggered. It's called an emotional trigger. So here's a difference between a person who has a relationship with this and this. And you get told it too, though. You know how... Parents will tell you how to calm down and talk in public. So there's also the thing called free will because, of course, we don't have to abide by anything as we grow up. Some people, we don't abide. We hear and like, well, that makes sense. You know why? Because we want to have conversations. That's why. All on my own, when I was in my teens, I was like, wow, when I get angry, my brain, I can't think clearly. You know what happens to our brain when we get angry? Cortisol. It covers up the hippocampus, which is our memory area. And then it also does some other stuff, which is why you start feeling foggy. And I remember that sensation because I was starting to do my almost college years and I chose political science. I'm like, if I'm going to do politics, I need to know to negotiate. I need to be able to stay calm. Little did I know that people in politics throw chairs at each other, which is very disappointing for a kid growing up because see, here's the word leader. Mm. Unless you're bringing people together and empowering people, then I'll see you as a leader. Other than that, I see you as a person who has a role and you're not really doing a great job at it. 
because leaders bring people together. Leaders know how to use their mouth. They don't weaponize their mouth. They don't manipulate. Leaders have a heart, which is compassionate, which needs to be whole, though. So let's go back to trauma, shall we? An adaptive child world and how transgenerational trauma and unresolved trauma is nobody's choice. A zero-year-old does not choose how to navigate their nervous system, their lovely nervous system chooses for them. Now, a lot of people don't believe in the updated trauma-informed stuff. It's too bad, too bad, so sad. Not really, because see, the nice thing about systems is that it moves with evolution and expansion. So the people who are going to be intelligent are not only regurgitations of mouths, which we need those people for a certain amount of things. It's the people who know how to talk. We all, as my lovely psych educators share with me, manipulate because to talk to each other, we need to figure out how to align. So the best conversations are with people who are confident. I know some of them. And some of them, we have completely opposing views and I miss them so much. I miss my friend that I can have amazing intellectual conversations with and we butt heads, quote unquote. We don't butt it. We exchange it because they're on another end. I'm on another end and we still enjoy each other's company. That's what we get to build. So real talk, when a functional adult meets adaptive child behavior as a teenager, I would just say, why are you trying to manipulate? Uh, no, this isn't right. Mm, you did this. I know you did. And you know, it's funny when people like to lie to your face or actually omit or basically not admit anything. And you're like, hmm, okay, so that is what it means to be afraid. And I'm going to be nice because again, nobody chooses to have emotional disconnect. So to not be familiar with the six basic emotions from the depths of your body, nervous system. It only has three ways, according to Stephen Porges, polyvagal theory doctor. He's still doing his empirical research so that at some point Wikipedia can change that little sentence of unproven. You got people believing in meat eaters and yet there's people who want to say, no, it's not proven yet. <laughs> okay, then let's ignore the fact that they're making way to help us with our inner well-being, shall we, and how to grow relationships. So... Some of us, we grow our relationships organically because, as Sadhguru's pointed out, true friendship is shit, shit, and we hug it out. That's what grown-ups know how to do. The ego-sensitive people, not so much. So for those of us who are grown-ups, you can believe whatever you want, socially, politically, religiously, whatever it is, we don't believe in evil or the devil. We do believe in love, and we believe in trying to communicate directly. We don't do filtering at all. So we don't lie and we don't clown around. And when somebody's manipulating, they're not weaponizing for the intelligent ones because we're not going to try to read your mind. We're going to take what you're saying and we're going to roll with it. And if worst case scenario, what happens? What happens? I mean, seriously, I'm a 43-year-old person. I, I see these people who react like teenagers and I'm thinking, what is, I forgot, excuse me, our attachment system. This is very important. So an adaptive child is protecting what is called a childhood trauma. Now, not all people have the actual extent of childhood trauma of abuse or neglect, but they all have a moment or more where they were not seen, they were not sued, therefore they did not feel safe and they did not feel secure to be their self in their body and the nervous system, sympathetic, dorsal vagal, ventral vagal. So the 5D mystic and a 5D functional adult, 5D educator, these individuals with their relationships, since whenever they became a love button, they don't do, let me hide behind my feelings or let me use them. No, there's, you know what, I'm so sorry, I got triggered and here's why. You know what, let's try it again this way. You know, hey, every time this happens, I notice you do this. Is, is, do you want to talk about it? You know, this isn't really working out for me very much. I'm pretty sure that we agreed to this and now you're telling me this. I don't know. And sometimes it's you know what? We could have just said it and not always in a calm tone. So we know how to spell out the truth without a problem. And we also don't shame, blame, fault, or do for any reason revenge. Now, some people, when they do this stuff, time it tells all truths. We don't need people to speak. Pure consciousness is purusha prakriti. It's unconditional love. And then prakriti is just you and your energy. But this is you and your ventral vagal state. So 5D mystics, functional adults, enlightenment soul age group. Come on over to our episodes to tune in on how to build mindful relationships and to support those who actually want to expand their consciousness because there are a lot of adaptive children that want to become their functional adults because they like to have grown-up conversations and feel their emotions. So they communicate and we have fun 
and we go if we need to therapy together these are all great topics and great ways to support humanity to resolve trauma and to move towards more of our humanity and to come together as a species 